So I'm Ella and I'm from Poland. I've moved uh, here quite recently and I've basically um, felt inspired to continue on my project as soon as I arrived to this incredible land with the Mediterranean climate around me. Um, I'm basically independent producer of vegan skincare and I make sure that the products uh, that I bring to people are eco-sustainable, uh, fully vegan, as much as organic as I can provide it, and of course medicinal. Uh, so basically, my project all initiated during my travels and that uh, came soon after my aromatherapy courses which I completed in Portugal. I felt very inspired uh, by meeting one uh, elder woman uh, who's from Israel and she moved to Portugal to be growing her aromatics and herbs and she's been deriving lots of, um, lots of essential oils and, and goodness from plants. Uh, that's where I began actually learning from her. Um, essentially, my work came with the main goal, uh, with the main goal uh, to achieve the sort of ethical way um, for for the for the artisanal production. Uh, so basically, the whole concept of my products uh, is to focus on getting as much as goodness uh, as possible out of plants. And in this case, I would be using essential oils, uh, infusions to combine into my products. So that as a as a final uh, as a final uh, result, um, I can sort of achieve to get a sort of medicinal product to people, not only a common everyday uh, skincare product. So basically, the the biggest fun out of this, I guess, is to sort of be able to give that minimal um, use of the product uh, that has very low impact on the environment because obviously all of these products uh, they're biodegradable uh, they're clean and safe for the water and many many of my customers will be using them on festivals or events outdoors in nature uh, but also I mean that's not to say that's only for that use but what I'm trying to say is that the product is fully safe for environment and that is something that really makes me motivated in my work um, I can show you for instance my handmade soaps which I make for people which are for entire body use they're friendly for face or all body and the hair. I have different types. They all have a bit of a pattern to it. So I basically incorporate this uh, mica powder. It's natural uh, mineral based um, color dye. So I work with those and I like to create different sort of patterns. So I have some molds to create patterns of flowers or different sorts and blend the colors so that it has this sort of like vibing natural feel to it yeah so basically that's like my creative take on it obviously I make them a bit more I make them a bit more fancy before I had this sort of project where I would basically mix like do the swirly colors <laughs> my daughter loves playing with them <laughs> for me the creative part 
and the art that I feel I put towards it is the colors playing with the shapes of products as well as the the infusions the whole process of mixing essential oils and making them in, in into infusion before it actually gets put inside the product uh, combination so that bit for me it's it's like like art because I feel myself being in the state of peace a sort of meditation I would say and for me that I find it very much like art this sort of like stillness being connected with the with the smell with the plants with the colors so interestingly enough what has brought me here um, is the fact that me and my partner were expecting a baby and at the time uh, where, uh, when we realized we were in a big city where I couldn't possibly imagine raising my child uh, and um, welcoming my child into this world. Um, so because my partner, he's raised, he's actually, he's been raised in Puglia, uh, not far from Lecce, we thought we might as well just go there for at least initial first years of our child once she's born um, but there were obviously other reasons uh, aside from it because for me you know I always felt like Mediterranean climate it's sort of calling on me because I have many friends saying that lots of herbs and plants could be easily grown here and nature here is just fantastic and to be upkeep, upkeeping a herbal garden it's a very very good uh, environment for it so I thought about the possibility to grow plants veggies as well and as soon as my boyfriend told me that he actually owns a, a small land um, in Valeditra I was feeling very very inspired and actually ready ready to come here because I thought th this would be the best way to connect more with my project and obviously knowing that my our child would be arriving then that was also a great motiv motivation to be like okay now it's a time to slow down to learn something from nature to come closer with it because it's not it's not only that you know it's not only the making of the products that I'm doing but I used to pick some wild herbs I used to make macerated forms like derived oils from the herbs but at the time when I was doing it I didn't feel I had such a great field for it so I felt yeah Mediterranean climate will definitely help me to further this sort of ideas and learn more so yeah that was a calling for me my project at some point uh, was sort of on a standby obviously because uh, I was a freshly baked mother and I found it slightly frustrating because I'm a very proactive person and I really wanted con I really wanted to continue to make more stuff um, but then again I thought like okay let's not give up so I was just quieting my mind making myself sort of into stillness and to be honest all those moments breastfeeding I remember I used to receive so many ideas and I felt like this was a really good period of time to inspire myself on how I can also provide the skincare for mothers who are not allowed to use as many fragrances, as many essential oils. So that was a very important time to actually provide more diverse skincare and to reach out uh, to women just like me. Uh, that have to look for skincare that's safe on them and on their small children. Uh, I would like to 
thank you to um, all of you guys who found me um, out there. Especially, I would like to thank you, Chiara and Luana, who somehow reached out to me and invited me uh, to have this interview. Uh, I'm really grateful. Yeah, thanks very much.